Well, lucky me, I have found Mike Cutts, business line director for Aveco Van in the UK. Mike, I'm really excited to be here. What have we got in the background? Well, we've been waiting a long time to talk about eDaily and we're finally here. The day has come where we can start to communicate officially about what's great about eDaily and there's so much to talk about. Probably one of the biggest things is towing. So, towing everybody! <laughs> so we know at the moment the UK market, there's very limited choice for customers with regards to what they can tow on electric vehicles. Yeah. What's great for us is we can offer three and a half ton towing capability. Hold on. Let's get that again. What's that? Three and a half tons towing. Three and a half tons towing capability, which reminds me, Mike, of a commitment that you guys made. And it's, it's sort of exemplified here behind us. I think you said that you would do what the diesel guys, you know, you'd repeat the diesel configurations yeah. for electric. And, and that's very much what we've tried to do is to take the DNA of the diesel daily, what it's known for, and replicate that with an electric drivetrain. And so what we try to do is make it as easy as possible for those customers that have got really tough missions and high performing missions to make that transition without a compromise. And, it, and Diesel Daily is known for its three and a half ton towing capabilities as standard. Yeah. And we've done exactly the same with the E-Daily as well. So I've got to say that is very impressive because I know that we are often talking about the compromises we've got to make to go electric. Now I guess there will be some compromises if we are towing. In reality, what might those be? I mean, obviously the biggest impact is going to be range. Yeah. So, you know, if you are going to be towing three and a half tons, then there is going to be a reduction in range. If you're going to be towing at that full capacity, you could see that range drop to potentially 40% less than what you would get if you weren't towing. Right. But let's be fair, you're basically towing another van behind yeah, the yeah, van yeah. you've got. So that's a, a huge amount of, uh, of weight. Indeed. And, and, and the actual reality is that if we're in a diesel truck van, we are still getting a reduction in actual range and performance, aren't we? Yeah, you're going to get a drop in MPG as well, so it's yeah. only the same. Yeah. Uh, but what's great news is that you know those operators out there that do need to tow significant kit, yeah. that's available. Whether or not it's a panel van or a chassis cab, that three and a half ton towing capability on our second and third battery models is standard. So Mike, we're here at the back of the vehicle, and this is where all the magic happens under there, isn't it? So um, talk to me about the batteries and the motor. Sure, so what's great about the E-Daily is that it's based on our ladder frame chassis, which is, gives us the capability to have a modular design. That means that we give the customer a choice of one, two or three batteries. So I'm right in thinking then that when this has finished its first life, you can add or take away a battery in the second life because the, the user needs something different? Yeah, exactly right. So the way the vehicle's designed is, is that the batteries fit within the spaces within the ladder frame chassis. Right. And that means that you can drop the batteries out from underneath the vehicle. Wow. So you could potentially order the vehicle with two batteries. Mm. And then when you come to sell the vehicle, if that second owner wants to add a battery because they want to drive the vehicle further, mm. they can do it. Or maybe that they want more payload, more but payload, they're not yeah. driving as far, they could take a battery out. So it so gives great flexibility. Real flexibility, but also thinking about that future piece, which has everybody thought about that? I'm not sure. But I, what I'm loving with the Aveco story is that you've thought about your customers, you've thought about the second life, you've thought about the modularity, you've thought about the different types of use cases that are important to you and your customers. I think that's really good news. I think what it does as well is it gives us the opportunity to future-proof the vehicle. So thinking ahead, what comes next? Hydrogen. Well, we've got the modularity and the structure of the vehicle to be able to add hydrogen tanks to that electric chassis as well. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's great for opportunities for the future. So Mike, there are a variety of batteries on the market. What's special about these? Are they special? They're just the same as everybody else? So we've gone for a supplier, Microvast, okay. uh, and their batteries offer some great features and product benefits. Um, the batteries are not only the, one of the lightest in the market, that's but they news. also offer a great ratio of, uh, of usable energy. So each one of our three battery packs is 37 kilowatts, right. of which 35 kilowatts is usable. Okay. So a 95% ratio of installed to usable, yeah. which is best in class. Okay. Um, not only that, 
that they also uh, are really reliable. Uh, we have a long history with Microvast as part of the Y-Drive Echo Group. Okay. So we can offer a class leading warranty, which is eight years, 155,000 miles on that battery warranty, which again is best in wow. class. So yeah, yeah. Some real confidence about the long-term life of those batteries. In the we always hear about that, the eight years, but we don't always hear about the how many miles, because it can be anything from 60 to 100. I've not heard any more than 100. So 155,000, great news. One of the other things that I, a question I've been trying to answer is about taking power out of the vehicle. Now I'm guessing you might be able to get some power out of this vehicle. Yeah, so another thing that we're really keen to do is make sure that our customers are able to do whatever mission it is that they're currently doing on their diesel products. Yeah. And that means a great choice of onboard power. And so we've got a selection of EPTOs now available from the factory, fully finished, um, both in low voltage, which is two and a half kilowatts, right. at 12 volts, which is enough to run a tail lift, right. or maybe a small fridge conversion, okay. but all the way up to a class lead in 15 kilowatts of onboard wow. power, which yeah. is high voltage and can run equipment like an access platform, a waste compactor, a sweeper, or any other equipment that you need at that higher level of onboard power. And the great news is, is we can offer that high voltage EPTO in both electrical and mechanical operation. So the way it works with a high voltage EPTO is that we take the power off the traction battery. Obviously if electrical, that power is going to run straight from the, the, the batteries itself. But what we can do with uh, an inverter uh, and the correct motors from the factory is convert that through a pump into a rotational uh, EPTO, right. which is easier to drive equipment like access platforms from a rotational power uh, and all that is available from the factory fully warranted with all the cooling systems and all the connectivity included in that. Brilliant. So I think we must all agree that Iveco have brought a true solution to meet all of the needs of the market, in particular your market, the market where you've been operating. So is he daily available at 4.25 tons and also seven tons as well? Yeah, so basically we've, we're offering the full range. So we start at three and a half tons. Right. We then go to the 4.25 ton derogated weight to maximize payload. But then we go all the way up to 7.2 tons. So, and that's available with choices of single wheel and twin wheel. Yeah. So basically, whatever choice you have on the diesel range is going to be available in the electric range as well. Yeah. And that 7.2 ton gross vehicle weight is going to give that customer 4.6 tons of payload. Yeah, brilliant. I'm sorry, 4.6 tons of payload. Mm -hmm. 4.6 tons of payload? As you can see, there is a lot of interest in the electric e-daily, hence all the people getting in behind us. So we're going to take the opportunity to say thanks to Mike Cutts, Business Line Director for the UK, uh, for the Aveco van, and I hope we're going to see it soon, are we, Mike? Yeah, so first deliveries into the UK will be from March next year, so not too long to wait now. And we go on sale on the 1st of November this year. 1st of November, people. Get your orders in. Thanks, Mike. No worries, thank you.